On the banks of the mighty Blue Nile, a new dawn is rising. Born from courage, sacrifice, and the dream of an entire nation, a structure stands tall, carved from stone, sweat, and determination. This is the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, Africa's largest hydroelectric project and Ethiopia's greatest symbol of hope. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, simply known as GAD, is more than just engineering. It's a masterpiece rising 145 meters high, stretching 1.8 kilometers across the Blue Nile. Once fully operational, it will generate over 6,000 megawatts of clean energy, enough to power millions of homes, factories, schools, and cities across Ethiopia and beyond. But beyond the numbers lies a story much bigger. The hunger of our brothers in Egypt, in Sudan, or anywhere else is also our hunger. We must share and grow together, for we have no intention of harming anyone. For decades, Ethiopia dreamt of providing affordable electricity to every citizen, a dream of lighting villages that once lived in darkness, a dream of powering industries without relying on imported fuel, a dream of development driven not by foreign support, but by the hands of Ethiopians. In 2021, that dream took its first breath. Farmers, students, workers, and businesses contributed what they called one beer at a time. And God became a people's project and a national mission. But how does God work? I know most people will want to know this, right? Now, hydropower is simple but powerful. As the Blue Nile flows into the reservoir, water is channeled through massive turbines, each one capable of producing hundreds of megawatts. 13 turbines, a reservoir holding 74 billion cubic meters of water, advanced spillways to control floods, in a state-of-the-art engineering designs for long-term safety and efficiency. Electricity is more than light. It's opportunity, it's industry, and it's the difference between stagnation and growth. With God, Ethiopia aims to power more than 60 million people. Industrial parks will operate at full capacity. Businesses will run without interruptions. New jobs, new factories, and new investment opportunities will rise. And beyond Ethiopia borders, Kenya, Sudan, Djibouti, Somalia, and other neighbors stand to benefit from clean, affordable electricity. But God has also been the center of international attention. Egypt and Sudan, downstream countries, have expressed concerns about water security. Ethiopia, on the other hand, insists that the dams will not significantly reduce water flow, but will instead regulate floods and ensure a stable supply during dry seasons. For years, negotiations have been ongoing, with African and international bodies mediating. God reminds us that great projects comes with great responsibility and diplomacy remains key. Hydropower is one of the cleanest source of energy on Earth. God reduces carbon emission, offers long-term sustainability, and ensures power without burning fossil fuels. Yes, 
The project brought environmental and social challenges like resettlements, land adjustments, and ecosystem changes. But it also introduced new opportunities, improved flood control, regulated water release, and potential agricultural benefits. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a story of unity, a story of sacrifice, a story of a nation determined to rise. As its turbans spin, so too does the future of Ethiopia, brighter, stronger, and more empowered than ever before. This dam is not just a structure. It's a symbol, a declaration, a renaissance, this is the power of a new dawn. Oh, oh, oh.